this is a question that people before, people now, and people in the future will have. Should I save or should I invest? Should I take the risk and gain thousands? Or should I stay in my comfort zone and be prudent to not invest in something that I could potentially lose? Could you imagine saving that much money in just one month? You can also put money in different safe accounts and earn interest. People deserve a career they can pursue happily for the rest of their lives. They knew exactly what they were going to be talking about. They were passionate about their topic areas and they were ready to debate their side of the story. They really learned a lot and they showed what they had learned and what they said. It was a really great day. Once you've, you're fighting for something that you believe, it's like natural and it just flows. Like being financially literate, it's what you're gonna have to use for the rest of your life. And it may seem like nothing now, but at some point you're going to have to use all of these things. And Miss Craft here at Richland High School is one of the teachers who uses the region's financial next step program in her classroom. And those were her students who were debating today so well. And she really believes in financial education. My favorite thing about what I teach is that it's practical. I go through things that they actually will need to be successful in life. Some of it now, some of it later, but things that they need to know. And I love that groups like Regions that are willing to sponsor that, that realize the importance of that. As long as he pays on time, his credit score will actually strengthen. It is an important aspect for life skills. What is my next step in life when it comes to my finances? So I'm in school, I'm gonna graduate from high school and possibly go to college. If I go to college, what is my next step from a financial standpoint? I'm I may have to obtain student loans. I may be able to get some scholarships to help me with the funding, but how am I gonna manage all of that while I'm in school over the course of those four to five years? Students, you have just embarked on such a great adventure to be learning. Uh, this is a life skill that you take with you forever. So enjoy it, continue to grow this skill because in everything you do, financial education truly makes a difference. Our state treasurer, Lynn Fitch, brought us all to the table to talk about what we could do to work together, to collaborate, to make sure that our students in Mississippi are receiving financial education. It's a true life skill, and the more that they're empowered by money, the better off that they'll be. No matter what career they choose to participate in, whatever their pathway is in life, understanding money makes them a better person for the future. Some kids, like, they get information from school and stuff, and they're like, We'll never have this applied to our life, but like if we know how it is applied to how you're going to live after you've graduated and once you're in college and stuff, it helps a lot. Honestly, I didn't know anything about like any, nothing about financial literacy, but like now I like to think that I learned a lot throughout these modules. It really helps you learn a lot of life skills that you're going to actually use. We provide the resource and Regions really has the support and the community involvement that's right here in Jackson, Mississippi. Anytime we've had all these many partners come on board, certainly like Regions, it's made all the difference in the world. Because it says to these young students, we believe in you, we know you can be successful, and we're here to support you. We're gonna be a unified front, teach you financial education, prepare you to be the next step, the next generation for the future of Mississippi. Regions!